Namaste YouTube Coven, welcome back to the mat and welcome to a brand new flow to welcome in a brand new year. If you have stumbled across my channel, welcome, my name is Bethany, I am the Yogi Witch and today I'm going to guide you through a really short but spicy, invigorating, empower yoga flow. So in today's practice, working with some twists, some fun transitions, some gorgeous warriors, we're going to start to bring ourselves back to the mat, bring ourselves back into our yoga journey especially if you've spent, like me, the holiday season eating cheese, watching Lifetime movies and sleeping in till noon. That is what the holiday season is for. But if you've come to the mat today looking to find that movement, looking to dedicate a little bit of time for you, then this is the flow for you. I'm not going to film this reintroduction again because I've done it about seven times, so we're just going to keep going. So to begin today, Kevin, we're going to come to lie completely flat on the back, and reach those arms up and overhead to find a full body stretch. So inhale, pull those arms up and overhead, pointing those fingers, pointing those toes. And then on your exhale, relax your arms by your side, slide your heels to the edges of your mat and flip your palms to the sky. Beginning today's practice by taking a beautiful deep breath in through the nose. And a slow breath all the way out. Just opening up this circle by starting to get in to a gorgeous natural rhythm with our breath. So breathing in through the nose and out. Not coming in with any pressure or any expectations, just recognise how your breath is today. Maybe it's the first time you've paid attention to it in a little while. And that's okay. And when it feels like you've fallen into a kind of a natural rhythm, finding a balance between inhales and exhales, you're going to start to take your focus into the physical body now. Scanning yourself from the crown of the head to the tops of your toes, the tops of your fingertips. Checking in with how we're physically feeling today. Like I said in the introduction, that chaotic introduction, perhaps this is the first time you've stepped onto the mat in a little while and that's okay. Maybe recognise you're feeling a little bit stiff or tired or just can't be bothered. And that's all good. Even if you stay in a child's pose for the entirety of this flow, that doesn't matter. Recognise the fact that you came to the mat today and you dedicate a little bit of time to you, whatever it is your mind and your body is craving. And then smile to yourself here and find gratitude for the fact that you showed up today. You showed up for you, for your yoga journey. Sealing the sense of joy and gratitude with a beautiful deep breath in. And a beautiful deep breath out. before we inhale to reach those arms back up and overhead find your way into a full body stretch here so pull the belly button in and up those ribs and then keeping this length we're going to slide to banana pose so finding a side body stretch by moving hands and feet over to the left hand corners of your mat maybe even crossing the right ankle over the left Thank you. 
inhale. Beautiful, exhale, untangle the legs as you move through center and slide hands and feet all the way over to the right hand corners, maybe crossing left leg over the right. Inhale. And we exhale, untangle the legs, move back into the center. And from here, we're gonna bend the knees to the chest, first wrapping our arms around the legs as we give the body a little rock from side to side. And then we're gonna meet in a happy baby pose. So maybe you take the hands underneath the knees, simply separating the legs here and press the lower spine down. Or if you have it in your practice, take hold of the outside of the feet, roll shoulders away from the ears, down the spine. Hold it here for about three breaths. So you might start to recognize a little bit of stiffness going on here, a bit of tension, that's okay. Breathe your way through it. One more breath in. And out. Before we transition to an eagle leg stretch by bringing first the feet to touch, bring the knees to touch, and then from here, you're gonna wrap left leg over the right here, so you're squeezing the thighs together and hug the knees to the chest. Bring those arms into a T-shape, finding length, and then allow the knees to drop all the way over to the right-hand side of your mat, and your gaze floats to the left. So you're fighting to keep that left shoulder down, keep the length through the fingertips. Inhale, and exhale, beautiful, gently bring the knees back into the center, engage in that core, and untangle the legs here to meet back in a happy baby stretch, going a little bit deeper this time. So roll shoulders away from the ears, back down to the spine, and pull on the sides of the feet, or press the lower spine down if you're taking hold underneath the knees. Three breaths in through the nose, and out through the nose. Inhale, exhale, feet to touch, knees to touch. Let's find eagle leg stretch to the other side. This time, cross right leg over the left, squeeze the knees to the chest and arms by our side. Allow the knees to fall to the left hand side and your gaze floats over to the right. Fighting to keep that right shoulder down to the earth. Inhale, beautiful, and exhale. Bring the knees back into the center, untangle them here. One final happy baby stretch, again, going as deep as you can. Press the lower spine down to the mat. Breathing in through the nose and out. For three. For two and for one. Bring the feet to touch, bring the knees to touch and from here we're going to start to find some eagle leg core engagement. So cross left leg over the right here and then right arm underneath the left arm. Maybe bring the back of the hands to touch or bring the palms to touch. If you have it in your practice to cross the ankles too, you're gonna do so. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale to squeeze, elbow and knee to touch, press the lower spine down. Exhale to tap the floor and tap the fingertips up and overhead. Inhale in, exhale out. Five more times, in for five, and out. Four, for three, you've got it. For two, feel that core start to warm up. 
and for one beautiful tap it bring it back up and then untangle the legs to the other side right leg crosses over the left left arm under the right inhale squeeze it in exhale tap oh my god my core's on fire inhale in exhale out for five four for three for two yes you've got it and for one give it a tap untangle the arms untangle the legs and hug the knees to the chest taking a gorgeous rock from side to side Ooh, keeping that breath balanced youtube coven And then from here, keeping the spice going, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rock our way into a standing forward fold. So take the feet to the sky and hands underneath the knees. From here, you can begin to build some momentum. So beginning to rock forwards and backwards, rounding into that spine, getting a little bit of a spinal massage here. And then when you're ready, we're gonna rock all the way into a forward fold to so bring the feet flat to the mat it doesn't matter how many times it takes you to meet in a forward fold wiggle your way here take hold of the elbows and begin to ragdoll the body from side to side so a slight bend of the knees start to ground into the earth through the feet beautiful before we bring fingertips to the mat, inhale, gaze forwards. On your exhale, bend into the knees and roll the body to standing, sweeping those arms up and overhead. Finding a mini back bend here. Press the hip bones forward, send the hands back. Inhale. Exhale, bend into the knees, forward fold. Quick hamstring stretch before we move deeper into the practice. From here, you're going to straighten out the left leg, bend into the right and pull the right hand to the sky, gazing towards the fingertips, holding for three, two, and one. Right hand down, bend into the left leg, straighten out the right, and pull the left arm to the sky, gazing towards those fingertips for three, two, and one. Move back into the centre. Inhale, gaze forwards, on your exhale, plant the hands down and from here, you can begin to sweep the left leg to the sky, coming to meet me in a standing split. So we don't want to have the chest lifted. Begin to press the chest towards that right leg. Maybe you even wrap one arm around the leg here. Find a bit of balance, ground to that earth. Inhale. On your exhale, step back with that left foot bringing it parallel to the back of the mat and roll the body to meet me in a warrior two, sinking lovely and deep into the front knee, hips and chest square with the side of the mat, finding real strength here in that lower body. Inhale, exhale, left hand rolls down left leg, right arm floats up and overhead, meeting here in peaceful warrior. Front leg starting to burn, you've got it, find that strength. Roll body back to warrior two, windmill the hands down to frame front foot and meet me back in that standing split. Pull the left leg nice and high to the sky, forward fold here. <sighs> Gently place left foot by right as we inhale, gaze forward, exhale, ukatasana, bend into the knees, tuck that tailbone under and start to find strength. Holding here for a breath. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forward, create that length. Exhale, shift your weight to the left foot and pull the right toes to the sky. Meet me in standing split. Maybe wrapping one arm underneath the leg here. Begin to forward fold. Feeling those muscles start to shake here. Inhale, exhale, step back with that right foot, roll the body in, Whew, to warrior two, sinking lovely and deep, screwing the hips and the chest with the side of the mat. Mm. Inhale, 
Exhale, right hand slides down right leg. Pull left arm up and overhead, peaceful warrior coven. Inhale. Exhale, roll through warrior two. Windmill the hands down to frame front foot as we pivot on the back tippy toes and meet in that standing split. Holding for three, yes, you've got it. Holding two and one. Right foot meets left foot, we forward fold. Inhale to gaze forwards, exhale, Utkatasana, top tailbone under. Come to sit lovely and low, yes. Feeling the strength into that lower body. We hold for three, we hold two, and one, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forward, this time exhale, plant the hands down, step back to a plank, and take a quick vinyasa, press off the toes. Drop from the top or drop from the knees, but we lower all the way down. Inhale, find upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hips to the sky. We find our way into our first downward facing dog. So beginning to pedal out the legs, bending into one knee, bending into another. Nod the head, yes, and shake it now. <sighs> Moving deeper into the practice, bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, right leg floats nice and high to the sky, really point through the toes as we inhale. Exhale, draw knee to the chest, step between the thumbs. With control, lift the body to standing split. Maybe both hands now come to take hold of the right leg, finding a balance. Inhale. Exhale, step back to that warrior two. Left foot comes parallel with the back of the mat. Roll the body up, nice and strong. Sink lovely and deep into that front knee. Left hand rolls down left leg, pull right arm up and overhead. Roll body through warrior two, windmill the hands down the frame front foot and lift briefly to a standing split. Before left foot meets right foot, inhale, gaze forward, exhale, whoop, whoop, katasana, legs, oh, oh, shaking as we come to sit lovely and low. <sighs> Holding for a breath, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, plant the hands down, step back, jump back, take a vinyasa. Inhale, create length, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Final flow for today's short and spicy practice. We sweep left leg high to the sky, really pointing those toes here, find length. Exhale, draw left knee to the chest, step between the thumbs. Lift, 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 that body in to standing split. Maybe even bringing whew, both hands to the left leg. Inhale. Yes, Kevin. Exhale, step back with the right foot. Roll body into that warrior two. Feeling so strong here. Sink lovely and low. Check in that alignment. Right hand slides down right leg. Pull left arm up and overhead, peaceful warrior. Roll body through warrior two, windmill the hands down the frame front foot. And we briefly move in to standing split, saying goodbye to this bloody pose as we inhale. Exhale, right foot meets left, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forward, create length. Exhale, bend into the knees, Utkatasana. Come to sit lovely and low. Taking a full breath in through the nose, fill the belly here, feel, fill the body. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forwards. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back, jump back. 
final vinyasa press off the toes, drop from the top or drop from the knees. Inhale, find upward facing dog. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Coming briefly to cool down, what we're going to do is step right foot outside of the right hand, left foot outside the left, and begin to sit lovely and low into Malasana, aka your yogi squat. Bring in the hands to prayer and find a lift in the chest. Remember, you can come to sit on blocks or a bolster, anything you have available. Just start to slow down that breath. As we inhale, beautiful, nice and slowly here, using the hands, using anything to support you, we gently Drop back into a seated pose, hug the knees to the chest and roll back into the mat, taking a little wiggle with those knees from left to right. Before bringing those arms to a T-shape, eagle twist, cross left leg over the right, allow the knees to fall to the right hand side, gaze floats to the left. Gently bring the knees back into the centre, untangle the legs, cross right leg over the left, allow the knees to fall to the left hand side, gaze floats to the right. Bringing those knees back into the centre, untangle them here and find your way in to a gorgeous full body stretch. Point in the fingers, point in the toes, create as much length as you can. Before bending the knees to the chest and gently rock your way, find your way into a comfortable seated position. Rolling shoulders away from the ears, bring the hands to the knees and start to find length through the crown of the head. Finding a balance now between inhales and exhales. Feel that heat, that spice radiating through both your physical and spiritual body. And ending that practice as we began with a sense of gratitude. So bring in the hands to the heart. Smiling to ourselves here. Whether or not we did the entire flow, whether or not we stayed in child's pose, it doesn't matter. Honour the fact and recognise the fact that you came here today and you dedicated time to your well-being, to taking care of mind, of body, of soul. So taking the sense of gratitude and joy off the mat and into the rest of our day by bowing chin to chest with love and with blessings to the strength of our mind for coming to the practice, to the strength of this YouTube coven for their energy, their support and a big thank you from me to you, thanking you for allowing me to guide you through today's Empower Yoga practice. How are you feeling? If this is the first time back to the mat after the holiday season, maybe like me, your arms are shaking, your legs are shaking, but it doesn't matter. We came here, we took the first step, we came back to the mat and we kick-started our 2024 yoga journey with a little bit of laughter, a little bit of joy and a whole lot of strength. 
If you enjoyed today's practice, Kevin, I would appreciate any kind of support for my little channel by maybe liking this video or even subscribing. Support like this means so much and it really allows me to meet and flow with so many more of you from around the world. But thanking you so much for joining me here today and I look forward to seeing you back on the mat very soon. Blessed be.